Hello YouTube, Jack in Color and I'm back with another video. So today, I'm actually in the garage in one of my old trucks, C10 to be exact, there's a reason for that. So aside from a bunch of custom shoe work, I do a lot of canvas murals, but I also do a lot of automotive related car and truck stuff, artwork of course, and uh, my client today saw what I do on that, wanted me to combine these, some Nike Romolios 3s, brand new from Nike, weightlifting shoe, um, pretty sick, they always sell out, they're super fun to paint and he wants me to combine this with this. One of my signature styles on a lot of my truck and car builds, freehand, you know, hand painted, headliner, um, black and white, pretty much always, lots of detail. And uh, this is a perfect canvas for that kind of situation. Um, I get to do what I want on it, gotta love that. And uh, there's really no reason to be in here anymore. So let's get out of here, get these things prepped up, onto the shoe painting area, start having some fun. All right guys, so I'm um, in the shoe painting area. Um, got these things, we gotta get them prepped. So basically take the laces out, wipe them down, um, get them ready. So uh, like I said earlier, these things are super popular. I actually just finished up a pair of these, some uh, Jordan inspired ones if you wanna get up close on that. And uh, like I said, these ones are gonna be a little bit different. Get to freestyle these things out however I feel like it. Um, the only request I have, I wrote myself a little cheat sheet here. Um, if you like this print that I did, so basically I'm going to do some sort of an octopus on there. A um, couple scenes, a couple things. Uh, there's not really going to be any pre-drawing or anything like this. I'm going to scribble out some on paper um, to show you guys, you know, kind of a guideline to go and uh, get started. Set these aside, grab a piece of paper, pencil, a couple notes that I have here written down for these. And um, basically, this is about as, as simple as it gets because a couple, couple things. Um, on these things, I'm not going to really draw anything out on the actual shoe. I'm just going to go straight from the, you know, the paint to the shoe. So basically, you know, you got to kind of have an idea. You got to really be thinking ahead of yourself a little bit and uh, always know what the next move is gonna be so you don't screw it up. And if you screw it up, make sure no one else knows you screw it up. <laughs> and uh, So that's it, so I'm just gonna basically draw about as simple as it gets. Two crappy ovals, just to represent the shape of the shoe. And then, um, you know, just kind of figure out like, okay, there's a Nike logo there, Nike logo there. And I'll just, you know, kind of stare at it for a little bit. This is this is kind of actually where you want to take your time thinking about, you know, where you're going to put all your different kind of stuff. And uh, this doesn't matter if it's a weightlifting shoe, a Jordan, a Vans. It, it, it doesn't matter. If you want to try this style and you just want to go at it and not, you know, use stencils, tape, pre-draw stuff out, um, screw up on the paper so you don't screw up on the shoe. Because obviously everyone knows these shoes are like, what, like 200 bucks before I even touch them. So figure it out here. All right, so I switched angles around so you guys could see a little bit better. So like I was saying, I drew two crappy little ovals to represent the uh, the shape of the shoe. You know, put the logo where it's supposed to go and whatnot. And then um, basically wrote a couple of notes down to myself, um, a couple of sayings that he wants on there and stuff like that. And then, uh, you know, basically all from this point, you, you stare at the paper, you stare at the shoe, you come up with your scribbles and your rough ideas of how you want stuff to look. And then from there, we're going to crack the paint open and get going. And uh, that's, I'm ready to go. Um, literally just a little bit of chicken scratch is all I need to kind of get myself the idea of, you know, where to put certain objects. And then that way, the rest of it, freestyle off the top of my head as I'm going along, always makes for a better thing. Um, I find a lot of times when you spend too much time prepping something, um, I shouldn't say prepping, when you spend too much time pre-thinking out every single little line, detail, and dot, by the time you get to the actual real, you know, object, whether it be a shoe, a painting, you know, sculpture, whatever it is, you lose a lot of that energy. So I like to do minimal right here. Um, I've been doing this a while, so it's not really a big deal to me to uh, to jump, skip over this step right to the thing. But do minimal here, get your rough idea. That way you get, your, you know, your thoughts going, the energy starts getting up. And then 
jump right into it. That way, as it's going along, you can kind of adapt, you can be organic about it, and you don't feel so structured about trying to basically recopy your own work. Um, to me, it just makes for a better overall, you know, finished product. So without further ado, let's crack open that flat black and get it going. All right, guys, here we go. Um, if they're prepped up, they're ready to go. We just need a couple more things. Choice of color today, obviously. Flat black, my favorite, and an assortment of brushes. Um, it's gonna be a one and a two round, number two filbert, a couple little uh, fives and tens, the little mini detail brushes. I'll put those in the uh, description so you guys can you know, get your list together if you're trying to follow along. And uh, that's pretty much it. Um, there's no tricks to this now. It's gonna be a long process. It might take today, it might take today and tomorrow to, uh, to really dial them in how I'm you know, happy with them. Uh, there's no point in rushing it. No one wants a crappy looking custom. Um, that's not what I'm about. So without further more, let's get this thing started. I'm gonna speed it up, make it look magical for you so it's uh, you know condensed in a couple minutes. And um, let's get going. All right guys, so I want to take a minute and pause real quick. Um, so I'm about like, I don't know, not quite halfway through the uh, second shoe. As you can tell, um, this has basically been filmed over the course of, gosh, I don't know, three, four days now, uh, on and off. Um, it's not a fast process doing it this way. When you don't pre-draw anything out, um, you have to really kind of always be thinking a few steps ahead. Uh, so if I put a line here, I got to worry about what I'm going to put here. Um, right now, I'm trying to figure out what to do throughout a little gill area. So it's, you know, simple. A um, couple of eyeballs working on right there. But uh, basically, you know, like I said, um, always got to be thinking ahead when you're doing it this way, when you're freehanding out something, um, especially when you're just going straight paint to the shoe or canvas or whatever it is that you're working on. Um, it's better to uh, spend more time, you know, like right here, it's all blank. I'm already thinking about what to do on, on this while I'm working on this side. That way I can kind of adapt to the shape of everything, um, work with it as I'm going along. And, uh, you know, hopefully it turns out to be a better custom at the end because of that. Um, if you jump ahead and try and, you know, think you got all figured out and uh, start doing it, you'll end up, you know, running yourself into a corner or screwing something up. So, um, again, just quick break, I wanted to say, Think about what you're doing before you even do it. Um, it takes longer, but it's worth it. Better results. Thumbs up. Back to painting.
All right guys, so here it is. A uh, few days, a few nights of hard work, um, all condensed in a couple minutes for YouTube, but you know what, looking at them right now, um, it was definitely worth it. Nothing beats having something one of a kind, you know, one-off pair that no one else in the world can have exactly. That's always cool. And uh, you know, of course, they were all freehand, no tape, no stencils. Um, basically just a lot of patience and, you know, a desire to uh, to get this finished product right here. And, um, you know, normal YouTube stuff, if you like what I do, give me a follow, uh, like, or leave a comment below. Let me know what else you guys want to see from me. Um, I'll be sure to try and accommodate that. I'll leave you guys with some finished shots of these bad boys. And, uh, you know, pretty much uh, that's it. On to the next pair. Till next time, thanks. Stay tuned. Enjoy.